I can't read the other professor's mind why they do that, why they, why they want you to lime to 6.3 or 6.5 or whatever. I, I've said this before, I don't know how many times. I could not care less about the soil pH. I could not give two flips. As long as your turf is acceptable and you have not had any pre-existing conditions, I don't care. You can have a pH of two out there and I'll never know it. I couldn't care less. If you have an acceptable turf or if you've had a pre-existing condition and you're trying to maintain, keep track of it and, and minimize the chances of it occurring again, then I care because pH can have a great influence, particularly on microbial communities, microbial activities, which has a great influence on turf production, turf growth, and so forth. There's a lot to do with pH. But I don't really care about it if the turf grass, is, turf grass is fine. What happens is we start going down these roads, these straw man arguments is like, well, we should worry about solubility of nutrients and this pH and all this other stuff. No, 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 no. We should worry about turf quality and growth. Focus on that. Don't let these straw men distract you. Don't, don't let these red herrings take your focus away from the goal. And the goal is to produce either acceptable quality turf or the best quality turf for the least amount of money the least input.